This is Empaths Part 3. We empaths also, like, we're into, like, holistic healing. Um, we're into, like, the occult spirituality. Um, we have a deep connection to nature and animals. We tend to avoid conflict. We're also highly, highly sensitive to things on, like, the news. Um, or, like, I said, TVs, music, things like that, especially the news. We empathize more with people. Um, we tend to feel really, really intense emotions. Um, and sometimes it's like really overwhelming. Some of us can sense emotions either by just like a vibe or like energetically or others like if you touch someone you can pick up that person's emotions and sometimes it's to the point where like even with inanimate objects like you know I'll, I'll bump into like my fan and be like oh I'm sorry and it's because of the energy and just this understanding that energy is within anything um, even if you touch something inanimate you leave an imprint of your energy on that so can you imagine when you touch a person, your that energy between you guys? Another thing that we tend to do a lot is like we have no boundaries, and a lot of people always overstep our boundaries. We have to choose what energy that we let into our lives, and what energies that we need to kind of stay away from. It's very hard for us to be in relationships um, because our energies are so intense and a lot of people just can't handle that. That sometimes it's kind of like their emotions and energies nerd back to them. And if you sleep with someone, you pick up on all of their energy to the point where it's like, dude, is it my energy? Like, you get so confused. You're like, wait, like, why am I heartbroken? But I'm not, I'm okay. I was just fine. Like, so it's very hard to like lie to an empath. It's very hard to like, you know, because if you, you know, you take in that person's emotions, energies within you, like, you know, you make love, like they're entering you and things like that. Um, they're literally putting their energy into you.